Yo, what up, it's Don. Samuel here. Soul Brothers, back up in it. Performance review. Pro Bounce 2019. If you want to cop, links are below. Yes, a hundred and dollar. But you might want to watch the review first. Yes. How about that? Um, why is it that like shoe companies, especially Adidas right now, mm -hmm. like all their shoes look the same. Yeah. All their hoop shoes look the same. Yeah. Like what happened to like having like totally different models? I don't know. Uh, you know, I understand having kind of the same design language mm -hmm. run throughout, but I mean, God, like this looks like it looks like a Dawn new issue. issue. Yeah. You know, the new Hardens. I mean, the Marquee Boost. It's just they all look the same to me. <laughs> Not the Hardens though. The no. Volume Fours are hideous. That's yeah, those. Hideous. But they look like they took these and just like went, you know, did a little acid and just went. <laughs> But Don't do that drop. No, I'm not like that. Uh, all right, so let's get to start off with the traction. It is a 100% completely hell to the hell no. Ooh. This is trash, dude. Like we said, links are below if you want to call. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, traction is very, very important to me because, you know, I'm a little, you know, I'm small. I have to rely on my speed and my mm -hmm. shiftiness, you know, to, to uh, score the ball. He's but quick, he's sneaky. <laughs> I'm sneaky. But in this shoe, obviously you have a falling herringbone, you'd be like, ooh, that looks real nice, right? No, it's not very nice. I don't know what they did with the rubber compound. Uh, they're putting some you know, oil inside the rubber compound or something. This shit slides like crazy. So on the clean court, it felt still not that good because it has that slip and slide syndrome from the Jordan 30, 31. You know, like, it like slides, you know? Yeah. And then like, uh, for like lateral movement, movements, it felt a little bit better. Felt like it was stopping a little bit better, but like for board, it just like slides like an, an inch or two. Like, and this, you know? And this has been an epidemic with Adidas hoop shoes. Yes. As of recent. Um, yes. There's a few shoes that kind of missed it. The Harden, Harden Volume 3 being one of them. And that's like it. <laughs> that, yeah, that might even that's be like it. That's it, you know? Um, but because these, uh, you know, where do we even begin? Exactly. The marquee boost, the next levels. <sighs> Um, and the BE threes, the BE threes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, a clean court. Even, even still, it's like not a great bite. Um, also, on dust, it gets even worse. It picks up a lot of dust. It's really hard to wipe off the dust. And I don't even know if it was hard to wipe off because it just the, the bite was just never good. Yeah. You know. So, uh, yeah, on dust it gets worse. And then uh, outdoor use also durability seems okay, especially just like on indoor courts. But it's a pretty soft rubber, so I probably wouldn't recommend like just fully playing only on outdoor courts. You know. Yeah. Also, another thing I really don't like about the outsole is that it's super flat. I guess there is a little bit of a tilt up here it's still a flapjack though it's, yeah it's, like you got to be able to press here and get the, get a good uh you know a good ollie off it or something, you know? <laughs> exactly you can't even get off the ground with this yeah i mean it is it is pretty flexible here and the cushion is soft so heel to toe transition all that is a lot smoother than you know if it was like you know jordan 12 it's super clunky and very stiff so it's not as bad as those don't get me wrong but it's still like it's a slapjack you know mm -hmm. so yeah traction very, very bad. Okay. Very disappointing. All right. Well, the cushion though is bounce. Full length bounce. Very nice. It looks real high, but it's not. It's not. Uh, it's a lot of caging coming up. You're actually pretty low, right? Very low to the ground. Like, like Adidas, like super low to the ground cushions for some reason. Like the the court feel is incredible, especially in the forefoot. The forefoot is really low. The heel they thicken it up a little bit. Uh, the, the the offset is pretty high, so uh, you you feel like you're a little bit more on your toes while you're playing, which feels pretty nice. The heel compression is pretty good as well. There is a little bit of bounce. You know, not not a crazy bounce, but a su little nice subtle bounce throughout the entire mid. So, uh, especially also in the forefoot, like it's not crazy, but just a little bit. It's yeah. mostly in the heel though. Impact production is great. Court feels good. Uh, you feel responsive as well. There's a slight bounce. Feels awesome. I love bounce cushion. You guys already know. And it says bounce here in the heel, and then you have a little bit of a heel clip here. I guess to cage the, the cushion as well. So. Right. So cushion is great. Moving on to the materials. Um, you hear that? Yeah, real cheap feeling material, yeah. uh, super flimsy as well. Uh, at first it feels really flimsy, it's broken in so it feels a little bit softer than it did at first. Uh, one thing I do like about this, sh uh, this material is that it's super thin, it feels yeah. like really really thin yeah. material so it feels very minimal on foot. 
also conforms to your foot really well because it is so like soft in that in that way mm -hmm. um so yeah i guess on foot it feels good uh there is very minimal padding here in the ankle area as well uh there it, it, but like here in the heel tab it gets a little bit thicker tongue uh really no padding i guess very minimal padding the tongue for some reason feels like stupid cheap yeah very cheap so i mean if you're looking for quality it sucks it's really bad quality material but on foot it feels pretty nice actually right. really nice it feels great so um okay. i can't really complain there it's a hundred dollar shoe so i'm not gonna ra uh, rag on it too much but yeah there's the, the, there's the materials there moving on to the fit fit it runs long so i went true to my adidas size and it runs pretty long so from your adidas size go down half a size from that and then uh width wise i would say uh even though it is a little long i'd say it was pretty snug for me width wise so i, I feel like if i went down half a size from what i picked it'll be a little bit tighter than that so it, it's it, it was probably pretty snug width wise as well toe space there is a little bit of toe space not the tightest uh, I like a real a snug fit in the toe area, mm -hmm. so um, that kind of sucks. But if you have a wide, wider, I guess, or thicker foot, then it should be a little bit better for you. So fit, I mean, and also like the the midfoot wasn't very great and as far as like midfoot lockdown, which I'll get into in lockdown. Uh, so yeah, fit wasn't uh, the greatest for me. Right. Also, uh, I love how look at how much I can open the shoe up. Yeah, it's more. Right. Look at that. Yeah, it goes so the tongue goes so far up, yeah. and then there's a heel tab, super easy to put on, very convenient. I really like that. Um, but for fit, it wasn't like just make sure to go down half a size. So right, support and lockdown. Support and lockdown was very nice. You know, you have the you know I guess it kind of extends from the midfoot to the ankle area. Nothing kind of in the forefoot. I guess maybe this part comes up a little bit, but uh, lateral containment was really good. You feel low to the ground, of course, you have a little bit, I mean, a very much of an outrigger here and like yeah. really extends here into the midfoot and angle area, heel area. So uh, very low to the ground, you know, very wide base, laterally stable. So uh, yeah, I mean, supporting lockdown was really good. Okay. Uh, weight? Weight. Probably that cheap light. It <laughs> feel light. Yeah, 11.64. So pretty, pretty damn light. It's on the lighter side of things. Especially for an Adidas shoe. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. So I really like that. It's a very minimal shoe, especially because of the material. They didn't really overdo it too much with the cushion like they did in the Dawn issue. So mm -hmm. that felt great as well. It's a very minimal and light feeling shoe on foot. But do you feel fast playing in the shoe? No, because the traction is really, is trash. So um, yeah, not the most responsive feeling shoe. I didn't feel quick playing in this, but if the traction was better, it would have been a lot better, you know? Right. So there's that. Stepping comfort. Very nice, you know, balance is very comfortable. So if you want to casually uh, walk around in this, then you should be good to go. Uh, breaking time. Yeah, breaking time, uh, nothing really. I mean, the material is really basically broken in right at the box, very soft. Um, cushion, not really. And then traction really didn't get any better. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, uh, durability. Durability, I don't know, man. These The material is super, Flimsy and cheap feeling. Yeah, it's and a little super thin. Yeah, so I don't think that'll last a while. And the traction, it, the rubber doesn't seem super hard. Hard, so I don't think durability is gonna be too good. Yeah. How was ventilation? It looks pretty ventilated. Yeah, ventilation was pretty good. Like I, I was, it was, it's pretty cool. My foot wasn't hot in the shoe. Right. Yeah. Aesthetics. I, I like it, especially this colorway. Yeah. It's one of Adidas' better looking shoes. Yeah, for a budget Adidas shoe, it's not that bad. Yeah. I don't love it, but you know, it's not that bad. Exactly. Uh, all right, I guess let's wrap it up. These are $100. No. Mm. no, no. I mean, I think this this shoe would have been really nice. Or not really nice, but like pretty nice if the traction was good. Yeah. Traction is trash. It's so bad. I mean, if you're playing on a pristine court, I feel like you can, you'd be okay. Like, I, I wouldn't like mind it um, as much as I did because I play on 24 hour fitness court. It's super, super dirty all the time. Um, but like I, I guess like everything else, like cushion was really nice, materials are okay, fit was okay for me. So um, like it, it would be an, a, a nice shoe if the traction was better, but it's not. And this is a solid rubber outsole, so uh, yeah, not we, recommend. At, at this point in the game, this shoe really should be priced around seventy dollars. It should be priced at. Be, don't get it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but even if it, you know, it, because. 
a hundred dollars. I mean, you're talking the KD Trey Five Seven is cheaper. Mm -hmm. The Precision Three is cheaper. Mm -hmm. Those are bangers. Yeah. Um, Ten dollars more. You got the PG PG Threes. I mean, it's it's a rough, uh, it's a rough uh, price bracket. Yeah. You know, right now. So don't get them. But link the links are below. Probably I don't even know if we're gonna put a link. Um, If you do want to, yeah, just don't do it. Yeah. So, anyways, that's it. Hope we helped you guys out. Don't get it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next. Later.